What's going on folks? My name is Spice. This is Spice Can't Fish. Today we're going to be continuing our challenge style of videos. I put that in quotes because today's video probably won't be too much of a challenge, although now that I'm saying it won't be a challenge, it probably will be a challenge, so we're gonna have to see. But if you guys remember, back when I was in Colorado, I actually visited a local tackle shop, and in that tackle shop I picked up a whole bunch of different baits. One of the baits that I ended up picking up was actually these worms right here. So these were like hand poured worms. I've got them in a Gary Yamamoto bag right now just to keep the tails from kinking as much, but they're like these hand poured all black finesse worms. But yeah, I threw them in the back of my car and just kind of forgot about them for a little bit. But again, since I'm trying to do some challenge videos for you guys, I figured we may as well take them out and see what they can do. Now, like I said, this probably won't really be much of a challenge in today's video. It's the middle of the summer, so these fish should be eating a bunch of soft plastics, and I think a seven and a half inch black worm should get bit pretty easily. And yeah, hopefully this won't be too much of a challenge for us. I just kind of want to see what these worms can do, see what we can catch on them. Again, they are just like some hand poured custom worms, so I figured it'd be kind of interesting to see what they look like in the water. But yeah, only got a couple hours to go do some fishing, so we're going to head on out of here right now. It's about 10 a.m. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the pond by 10.30 or so and see if we can catch a couple of fish this morning. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to get on the road. I'm going to strap you guys on my chest and I'll meet you guys down at the pond. Alrighty, down here at the pond, I rolled up just as another fisherman rolled up, so we already got a little bit of competition out here, but that's alright. I'm going to try my hardest to stay out of his way as much as possible. But yeah, we're out here testing this little custom poured worm that we got in Colorado. Uh, I actually went out yesterday trying to film this video. I caught one fish, so I'll play that clip for you guys right now. There's one. A little guy. A little tiny dude. He actually chased this thing up. I saw him kind of roll on it as I was pulling it out of the water. Tossed back in there and Buddy was right there waiting. Not a very big fish for sure, but first fish on the old custom worm. Calm yourself, calm yourself, brother. Nice, there we go, number one. Like a seven inch worm and a seven inch bass. Love that. Later, Brody. Ah, he hit me in the foot. A little psychopath. Like an absolute micro, and that was the only fish that I caught the whole time I was out there. So uh, I figured I'd come back out and try and. Oh, right, I broke this off. Damn it. Hang on. Let me retie real quick. Alright, so I got two different rigs going. I got a little spinning rod with just a wacky rig set up, and then we've also got a bait caster the Texas rig. Those are going to be kind of the two applications that I think I will most likely be using these worms for if I use them in the future. I'm going to start off with the wacky rig just because it's kind of shallow right here and these worms actually sink really slow so it'll be perfect for like a super shallow water application like what we're fishing today. This pond apparently gets pretty deep out in the middle which I didn't know about but supposedly it gets to like 20 foot which is crazy. But uh, apparently most of the fish in here are pretty small, which is what I saw the last time I was out here fishing. Just a lot of small fish. But uh, we're just out here trying to see what these worms can do today. I'm not really picky on size quality, although I wouldn't mind catching a bigger one. I know there are a couple of decent sized fish in here. But um, yeah, we'll just see what happens today. Only got a couple hours till the sun goes down, so we're going to try and move somewhat quick around the pond. And see if we can't pop ourselves a couple on this little black worm. There's one. Second cast got one on the black worm. Oh, he spit it. No. Pain. All right. <laughs> That's a good sign, actually. I saw that fish kind of moving up underneath these little uh, duck weeds, I think they're called. Oh, nice. That one up in the tree. Hell yeah. But I saw him moving up over here. Decided to pop a little cast on him. The nice thing about these worms, like I said, they sink super slow. So if you see your line moving at all, there's a fish on it. Oh, nice dude. God damn. Sloppy ass cast, bro. Oh, fish is on it though. Oh my god, you let go. How you gonna let go, bruh? Ooh, he hooked my hook inside the worm. That was good. Nice job. Try that again.
Oh, there's a bite. Go. Oh, a little tiny dude. A little micro guy. Alrighty. First one. Stop it. Nice. Hell yeah. Giants. Later, bro. Sick. Alright. Uh, it's retired. But yeah, these little custom worms definitely seem to work. I like these things. Hopefully we don't run through every single one of them in the video, because well, I want to fish them at another point. They seem like pretty solid worms. Of course, the two fish that we lose are pretty decent fish, and then the one fish that we catch is an absolute micro. Sounds about right. Unfortunately, that does not look like it'll be the case today. We've got two more worms in the pack. Got this one, and then the one that's on the Texas rig right now as well. So, that's kind of unfortunate. We're going to see if we can catch again at least one more fish on each one. And, uh, I think this is a pretty solid video. Hopefully we can catch one that's a little bit more decent of a size. Because these last couple are kind of sad. I'm also going to get this line out of the tree as much as I possibly can. A, because it's annoying me, but B, because, well, clean up after other anglers, right? Well, I got another fish on, I think. I do. Oh, I think I pulled it out of his mouth. I'm busy trying to get this line out of this tree and another fish was biting it. Unfortunate. All right. I think that's it for me today. I'm starting to get super dark out here and I'm starting to get bitten by a ton of mosquitoes. I'm really starting to get a little annoyed with it. So we're gonna head on out. But I'm not giving up on this challenge, this little review or whatever the heck this kind of video is. We're going to come back out to this pond again, like I said, tomorrow morning and uh, see if we can maybe fish out the rest of this pack of worms. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning then. Alright, day two, back at the same pond. Got the old black custom pour trick worm back on here. I actually threw a little nail weight in the head of this one this time. Like I said yesterday, we are running a little bit low on bait, so I'm going to try and at least catch a couple more fish on these things before we run them all out. But we're going to start right where we started yesterday and kind of work our way around the bank again. Oh! What the hell? That was weird. I had a fish bite it. I didn't even realize, and then he just back flipped out of the water okay well that was quick not a great start but that was quick at least jeez it freaking scared me thought i got hung up on like a little branch or something right there but what was that first cast second cast something like that already got popped crazy there's a bite got him yes Finally, yes, let's go boys. I actually got one on the old black word. Let's go Tom, oh my god, this little fish is mean. What are you so mad at bro? I'm gonna put you back. There we go Nice little guy on that custom poured worm. Finally got a fish like more than halfway around the pond This is the second bite I've gotten after that one that I missed on the very first or second cast there we go. Just a little dude. But after the couple of days we've been having, I will take him. Later, Holmes. All right, I was actually just about to switch up to a uh, Nico rig, which is perfect because this worm's starting to get a little tore up where you would hook it on a wacky rig. So I'm gonna just pop a little weight in this guy real quick. See if we can maybe catch one more before I lose this last worm. All right, let's give it a shot again. Same cast, same area. See if we can get bit. Just a little bit different presentation. Oop, there's a bite. Oh! What happened? He broke me off? Oh, you're kidding. Dang it. Well, crap. I guess that ends today's video. Not a very good one, but I did catch some fish, so 
not going to complain about that. It wasn't anything of any size and of course we lost or broke off every halfway decent fish that we hooked into today. That's super unfortunate because we are out of both hooks and worms. But that's how it goes sometimes. I'll meet y'all back at the car and uh, I'll close the video out over there. Alrighty folks, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Unfortunately, we could not capitalize on most of the bites that I got today. Apparently I was really good at hooking trees today and just really terrible at catching fish. But I think it's safe to say that those little custom poured worms actually work super well. I just couldn't capitalize on any of the bites today, unfortunately. I don't know what the deal was. I think I was just off my game today for whatever reason, but hopefully the next challenge video will be a little bit better. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see some more content from me. Check Rack and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.